Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a little different video. We've had a bunch of you ask for updates on some of the the things we installed on the RV or updates we did to the RV. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to walk around and show you each one of them, talk a little bit about it, how it's been doing, what we had to change, what we liked and didn't like about each one of them. We got a handful of them here, like the water filter that we had put on, um, the water softener. Uh, we also did the lithium battery conversion on this. Um, we'll talk about that. We did some stuff to the furnace. All these we did videos on, so if you guys want to reference any of them, we'll leave them down below for you guys. If you're looking to do any of these projects or upgrades or repairs, you can check those videos out. We also installed um, the digital thermostat in here, the smart thermostat, so we can adjust it from wherever we're at. That's nice to have in there. And then we'll talk about the RV airflows. Uh, that's kind of in conjunction with that thermostat. We kind of did it at the same time. And then... Also the RV locks. Yeah, our RV locks are here on the doors. Um, I recommend you do that on any RV because there's they're almost all key to like if you have the master key, everybody's gonna open your door. So we'll talk about those uh, issues, how they're holding up, things like that. But with all that being said, let's walk around to the back of the RV and uh, we'll start with like the water filter and water softener. Talk about those. All right, we are around here at our water filters. Uh, in the video, if you guys check that out, we'll leave links, so like I said. Uh, we installed these on here so they're easy to lift off when you're ready to move if you want to, but you could also leave them on there if you want to, the way we installed them. Uh, they've been working great for us. They've been filtering out a lot, plus the filter that you normally have at your RV spot. Uh, we've only changed the filters once. This RV park kinda has cleaner water than a lot of them, so it worked out really nice. Um, and then, the seals when you do to change your filters make sure you put that food grade silicone on your seals helps them go to better back to get better better uh when we got this if you guys remember if you watched it the one hose we had a crushed end on it so it didn't work for us so we had to get a small piece of hose just to fit the one lead because the one that came with it got damaged somehow the packaging wasn't damaged but that part was so and they they didn't really want to send us a replacement so we just went out and got our own. That's still working great. And then right next to that, you're gonna come to your water softener. This has been great too. Um, you could, I noticed better in the shower that you know you, the soap's a little soapier. I mean, the water wasn't entirely too hard here, but it does help a bunch. And we have recharged this one time since since we've installed it. Uh, we did a video on that too and how you do it. Um, there is instructions on how to do it. Um, I mentioned those. I left a link to it in the video. But we found a way it was a little bit easier by taking the whole top off. They show you pouring it into the end. No, don't do that. That's a pain. So this has been working great. Um, it's out here all the time. It's been holding up because it's got this neoprene sleeve, which covers the bottle. You can see that. It's got the fiberglass type of bottle. And that's just holding up pretty good. I mean, it did fade a little bit, but it's holding up pretty good. And it does come with a handle when you get it. To carry it around or you can have it hang up from up underneath your rig or something but since we're on a nice slab i didn't mind leaving that here so let's go check out the next item and the next thing we had is our lithium battery conversion we're so glad we did that it gives us all that reserve power down here in florida which we travel around quite a bit they the power goes out when there's storms it goes it doesn't go out for long most of the time but it does go out and with the lithium batteries since we do have the residential fridge and the inverter it can run that fridge for quite a while with the lights and everything so that's in here. You guys aren't going to see anything in here because they're in the battery boxes, but you got one on each side. We got two of them in here. And then we also did the inverter or the converter you had to do inside. We had to change it out to the auto switching one, which detects between the lead acid or the lithium batteries. So that's inside. You can't see that either, but we'll put little clips of it here from the video that we did. But that was a great upgrade. Uh, it, the batteries have come down since we did that, so the prices even got better. So if you guys want to do it, now would probably be the good time to do it. We'll leave links to uh, some good options for our batteries. Uh, Amazon has quite a few. They're, you know, just over 300 bucks or something like that, which sounds like a lot compared to a lot of acid, but it's a quality battery you're going to get more life out of. So, you know, you're going to get two, three times as much as a lot of acid. We love that upgrade. All right, we're out here at our RV door locks here. Uh, we have two of them. We have two doors. So we have one on the back door, one on the front door. This one is the one that gets used the most, so you can see the wear on this one. The, some of the paint's coming off over here, and then this is cracked. Uh, the cover on here, so you can see that's falling apart a little bit with use, but it's not terrible. It still works great. Um, 
you can get replacement pads here. They're like 15 bucks. You get them right from them if you need to get it once, it, once this gets really bad. But so far the lock's been working great. Um, we did notice though, we, we bought these about the same time. This one on the inside, the handle on the inside is a much stiffer handle. When you go to close it, it doesn't flex at all. But the back door one, for some reason, seems like a, I don't know, a different batch, but it's lower quality. The plastic, the handle flexes when you try to close it. So you're always worried that it's going to break because it flexes. But we don't use that one that much. That's why it's on the back door. But it's been working great. I also like to note, um, the batteries seem to last quite a while. If you get like the lithium batteries you can put in here, we use rechargeable ones. But if you get lithium ones, they do last longer. It goes quite a while. So it, it will last you I mean, a long time without you needing to change it. But it puts out a beep, like five beeps. When you go to use it, go beep, 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 beep. It lets you know that that five beeps means your battery's getting low. Time to change them out. Easy to do from the inside. And one thing we find, sometimes our key fob's not working. We're like, what's up? There is a switch on the back side of this door. You guys can see it's the on and off switch right here. Sometimes it gets hit and it'll be on off so your key fob won't work. So check here first if your key fob's not working. Other than that, great lock. Now we'll go inside and check out some of the other stuff. All right, we are inside at our RV thermostat here. This is the digital one. It's the smart one, so we can log on to it from anywhere. As long as you got it hooked up right, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it allows us to control it from where we're at. So when we go on vacation, we can turn it down, but when we come back and we're no longer back, we want to get the rig cooled, we can turn this on and adjust that, which is great. Um, and then, I mean, you see a lot going on here. We added a bunch of this. This here we added. Uh, we did installs on this. Uh, you just got to make sure you update your firmware if you got this. If you're starting to have issues, update your firmware. And I'll probably take care of that. Uh, you'll see this. This is, we have under lights. We can adjust the colors for holidays or whatever. This is one other thing we installed, which is the Mopeka sensors for our propane tanks. It lets us know how much propane's in our tank on, with the pucks. The batteries in this are going bad because we check this every day. I don't know, it's just fun to check, I guess. But uh, they light up. See, that's it's flashing because the batteries are low, but that's full. Both our tanks are full. It's just the batteries are getting dead in this. Uh, that's a, That was a nice upgrade, too, so you don't have to worry about what you have in your tanks. And one of the last items we're going to talk about today is the RV Airflow. These things here are, when you see them, the, the price is going to shock you, and it makes you hesitant to pull the trigger to buy them. But once you do, you're going to be glad you did because it makes your, your AC units quieter, and it also directs more of the airflow out of your ducts, so you get better flow out of your ducts. I got them in both the units and made a world of difference. And also, they also sell a thing you could put in here to make this even quieter if you wanted to. I didn't install those. I'm pretty happy with what this does. And I even sealed it, sealed it with the aluminum tape all the way around it just to make it that much better. Definitely worth the upgrade on those. We also wanted to mention the furnace. That was one of the recent videos we did. We had an issue with our furnace not working. Uh, and what we did is a different approach than a lot of the other videos where they just, they did the more scientific or methodical approach to it with testing certain things to see what was wrong, what was bad. We just did the throw some parts at it thing, which probably isn't the best thing to do, but it also got us familiar with our unit on what we wanted to see. I mean, we changed most things, but we left some things on it. But our repair did end up fixing what our problem was, but... And like we said in the video, you would never guess. We took the furnace out, did all this, and it had nothing to do with the furnace. The furnace worked fine. It was actually at the propane end with the regulator and the hose. One of the hoses collapsed inside, so it wasn't letting the right amount of flow through. And the regulator seemed to have a little bit of issue, so we just replaced them both. Haven't had an issue since. Everything works great. The outside grill, the furnace fires up every time, so no issues there. And like we said, with the furnace, you have the sail switch and... A couple other things in there none of that's really expensive so we we had those on hand anyway um as backups which even the ones we replaced we saw the old ones as backups because they still work but that all worked good uh, now we'll come to pros and cons for each one of them when it comes to the water filter i can't see much of a a con with it uh, it's way cheaper than some of the other ones you see on the market and the the filters down to a half a micron so it it, it filters out everything we need to we haven't had anything bad come through. Our aerators on the sink don't get plugged, so it's not letting anything through. And you can see when you change the filter, it catches a lot of stuff. So I can't really complain about those, but there are other ones on the market with a higher price that might be better overall, but this for the price that this is, 
you can buy this one a bunch of times for the cost of the other one. And I, in my opinion, it does just as good. And we're full-time RVers. If you're only doing it on a weekends or, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months a year, that would be more than all you need. But we're doing it full-time, works great for us. Uh, now the water softener. The water softener is good. I think for our size unit, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger might have been better because you get this one will do 3,600 gallons, it says, before you need to recharge it. You'd be surprised how fast you go through 3,600 gallons because we did have a water flow meter we had on there. You go through it pretty quick because we, we work off of here for you have your showers, your cooking, uh, all that stuff that we do here. It goes faster than you, you would want it to. And the recharge isn't entirely too hard to do, but if you don't have to do it as often, that'd be great. That's my only complaint with that. But other than that, it works great. The quality's good. That one hose had an issue, but other than that, everything seems to be great on that. We're liking that. Uh, also with our lithium battery system, no complaints on that whatsoever. I love the way it works. I love having the reserve capacity. It just gives you peace of mind knowing when the power goes out, you're, you're gonna go a lot longer because you can deplete those batteries almost empty. Whereas with a lead acid, you can't go that low without damaging the batteries. And the batteries we have were the, were the Uniwix batteries. A uh, company donated those f to us for review. We can't complain, they're great batteries. They have all the right stuff for shutoffs and high temperature, low temperature, all that good stuff they're supposed to have in them. These have it. So if you're in a colder climate, I mean, you don't want it to go too cold with those kind of batteries, but they do have the shutoff to protect the battery. So if you're in a climate where you're cold all the time, maybe heat the compartment the batteries are in or move your batteries. Probably be the best bet so they keep working for you. But no complaints with that whatsoever. Now on to the thermostat. The only complaint I had about the thermostat was there's a couple things. One was they had that one issue. It was a firmware update is what it ended up being. Not that big a deal, but I wish it would auto update the firmware for you so you didn't have to remember go there and check it. Second, the, the screen display is, is not that touch sensitive because it is a touch screen, but it's not as sensitive as, you know, like your cell phone or something. And you really got to get onto it to get it to work. Other than that, love the smart feature on that. Even at our house, we had the smart thermostats. Love those things. It just makes life a lot easier when you're doing stuff. And again, like I mentioned with the RV airflows, the price is my only count on those. They are pretty pricey for styrofoam because that's all it is, is just styrofoam. It's pretty pricey for that, but what it does, you'll thank yourself for doing it. It's a lot of money up front, but you're going to love that you did it, especially if you're in your RV a long time and or you're at a place where it's really, really warm and it doesn't get as cool. That's going to push more air, let you feel cooler. And then last, our, our RV locks. Not much complaints on those either, except for the outside does wear out faster than you would want. And also on this particular one, the inside handle feels weak. Sometimes I'm afraid to grab it and close the door because it feels like it might break on me. So I wish it was as hard as the other one. I don't know if they had different batches at the time or something. They did improvements, but we ordered them at the same time and one soft, one's not. But overall works great with the key fob and the code and the key. So you have three ways of getting in it. Nobody else is going to get in your rig. It's pretty nice to have. So with all that being said, that is an update on the stuff we had on here. If you guys got anything else we didn't mention that you wanted to know an update on, give us a shout down below and we'll try to put something out for you on those. <clears throat> if you have any questions on any of these installs or upgrades, we will leave links to the videos of us doing that down below. And we'll leave links to this stuff. Um, a lot of them probably are affiliate links uh, through Amazon or whoever, but we'll leave links to those down below. And you guys can click on those if you want to install those on your unit. But overall, all these upgrades were great for us. We love doing them. And plus, it makes, it makes life easier for you. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And don't forget to click that bell notification and the subscribe so you go know when we guys post a video. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Try something new.